Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle spent her day on the hot seat testifying on Capitol Hill about the egregious failures that we all witnessed at President Trump's Pennsylvania rally. This nation came within a quarter inch of what would have been the unthinkable. And the American people are demanding answers. That did not happen today. The assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump on July 13th is the most significant operational failure of the Secret Service in decades. Nine days, ladies and gentlemen, nine days and still no answers. Lawmakers were in no mood for her silence today, demanding that she be fired. Congresswoman Nancy Mace saying that Cheadle is, and uh, let me clean this up for the television audience, full of crap. I got the job as a director of the Secret Service because I spent 27 years in an agency with a mission that I absolutely love. I started my career in Detroit. I worked my way up through investigations and protection. Were you, was there competition for the position? You would have to ask those who were involved in the interview process. Uh, but you think you are the best person in the country to head the Secret Service? I think that I am the best person to lead the Secret Service at this time. And here to discuss is Florida Congressman Byron Donalds. Now, Congressman, you were in that room. What did you make of the director's testimony today? The director's testimony was an embarrassment. She knew full well coming in that members wanted answers. And I want to be clear for everybody. This is not just about President Trump. But what happened to him was, was, was a tragedy. It is by the grace of God that he survived, that he is still with us and still running for president. But this isn't about this. It's about President Trump, President Biden, President Obama, President Clinton, and everybody else that the Secret Service protects. And if you can't, if you have holes in your chain of command or your ability to see threats, uh, then that is not good for our republic. So when she came in with no answers, with non-answers, with deflecting to the FBI, with, with, with the, phony the phony statements of taking responsibility without actually holding herself responsible or people in her agency responsible, that is not good. It was a terrible testimony. She should resign immediately. Quite frankly, Joe Biden, if you can find him, needs to fire her today. You know, this is just really shocking, some of the stuff coming out of this uh, hearing today. Uh, we understand, Congressman, that there were no recordings. They did not save any of the comms recordings, so there's no information right now on what exactly happened. How, how significant is that, that they didn't save, they didn't secure those radio communications? Uh, it's very concerning. That's why I know that the FBI is looking at the actual scene. They're supposed to be doing their own independent evaluation. I say no to any of that. I think it's important right now. And it really could be, this could be House and Senate. It doesn't have to just be the House, because this is a serious matter. Uh, what we need to do, in my view, is that you need to have Congress investigate this matter, and that way we get to the bottom of it. Because we've seen this dance before, where an agency says we did their, our own internal review and we took care of things. Uh, to me, that's simply not good enough. It might have been good enough if Director Cheadle came in today with concrete answers for the things that she could speak publicly to, maybe also have a closed hearing, a classified briefing, classified hearing for the members so the members can get full accountability of everything. Because I get it. There are things that Secret Service does not want to talk about in an open session, and I respect that. But what we saw today in oversight was a debacle. It was a travesty. She should be ashamed of herself. And, Congressman, we're hearing reports from your fellow lawmakers. Uh, there may have been more than one shooter. The gunman had three encrypted offshore accounts. Uh, Congressman Andy Biggs asked about the shooter's side of that today and got absolutely no response. How concerned are you uh, that this information is not being addressed? Uh, it's very concerning, but this is where it's important for Secret Service to be responsive to the members on Capitol yeah. Hill. And it, really, they should have had most of this information prepared for us before we even got back to Washington. Because the thing you do not want are for various theories to start popping up all over the place. And then that does cause into question not just the Secret Service, but quite frankly, many other aspects of our government. And, and let me just say, to, when I talk about the government, let me say very clearly, 
the, the, it, the incompetence and the ineptitude that happened around President Trump from the Secret Service, that is indicative of what's happening in every other agency and every other department in our government. Washington needs a deep, deep scrubbing because we have people in places who are incompetent or they are derelict in their duty. Congressman Marjorie Taylor Greene asked um, a series of questions, uh, said, was there an order to stand down? Uh, was there a conspiracy to assassinate President Trump? Was that a, were, were those fair questions to ask this, the Secret Service director? Uh, right, right now, I think everything is fair game, and it's incumbent upon Director Cheadle to come with concrete information. And because she did not come with concrete information, it opens up to members asking a lot of different questions because we're trying to get to the bottom of this. Look, I'll say it again. We do a lot of political things up here on Capitol Hill. But when we do serious, when there are serious uh, conversations and, and hearings going on and you get stonewalled by a director or any agency head or any cabinet, and secretary, it is very frustrating because if that's the treatment that members of Congress get, I could imagine the treatment that U.S. citizens are getting from the federal government and from federal agencies. Yeah. And so that's where it's, I it's think a, that if you don't answer this stuff directly, you give room for these types of things to pop up. And if we're looking for a glimmer of good here, Congressman, it's that there was bipartisan outrage today. We needed to see that. We've got to get to the bottom of it. No, you're absolutely correct. This is a bipartisan issue. Uh, really, it's a nonpartisan issue. No matter who the elected leader are or their families, we want to make sure that they are safe. Because America, look, we're the best thing in the world, best country in the world. We have enemies. We have adversaries. And so you got to make sure that our elected leadership is protected at all times. Nobody wants to see this happening. And this is why this is a nonpartisan yeah. partisan issue. Republicans and Democrats are united on this to make sure that this gets cleaned up. All right. Congressman Byron Donalds, thank you for joining us tonight. All right. Thank you.